Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install realistic handling for all your vanilla cars into your 5M server super quickly and for free. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. That ring goes right here to the realistic handling for all vanilla cars. And then all you guys are going to want to do is scroll down and download the source code.zip. Just click that. Should start downloading. If it doesn't download as a zip file automatically, then make sure you guys do have a unzipper installed, such as WinRAR or 7-zip. It's up to you, whatever one you install. There's also uh, WinZip. They, they pretty much all do the same thing. It's really preference on which one you guys want to install. And now all you guys are going to want to do, if you go inside of here and you go inside of this folder right here, you should be able to see it are pretty much some very similar files and folders that we would see if we were installing some normal add-on or replace vehicles for 5M minus the vehicles themselves. Now what you guys are going to want to do, keep this open and find your guys' 5M server. So for me, if you installed it the same way that I did in my previous tutorial, what you guys are going to want to do is go to Documents and then find your server. So mine is in YT Server and then go to TX Data, CFX Default and Resources. And now you can make a subfolder if you want, for example, car scripts, or you can put it just straight into your resources, really up to you. If you aren't sure what a subfolder is, it's basically right clicking, creating a new folder, doing a brackets, and then car scripts, and then a close brackets. And that basically means that you can kind of categorize all of your resources into this folder without having to actually kind of ensure this folder itself in your server.cfg. So it kind of just organizes your server a bit. Once you guys have done that, grab this file right here and very simply drag and drop it in to your car script subfolder or just straight into your resources, whatever you guys are doing. Now copy this name, make sure it is, you are copying it since it has to be the exact same as you guys probably already know. Go to resources and CFX data and open up your guys' server.cfg with whatever you guys want. For some reason it's not letting me open it up with Notepad++, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. Head down to your resources list and under your last entry, we're going to do two hashtags and then car scripts, unless you guys already have a section you want to put it into. And these two hashtags are yet again, kind of like categorizing our resources in our server.cfg instead of our resources folder Then press enter and then type in sure that we usually would and control V our file name into here, hit file, hit save and start off our 5M server and we should be able to see that all of the base vanilla vehicles handling has improved. So as you're in game and you hop yourself into a default vanilla car, it's kind of difficult to explain through camera or through like video capture, but it definitely has improved the handling a lot. And I mean a lot, like it's a lot more smooth and a lot more accurate, it just feels a lot more realistic, which is really, really nice. And it also means that when you crash, you're probably more likely to go through the windscreen, which is sort of like a feat. And it also means that you guys definitely want to install that realistic seatbelt mod that I showed you guys how to install in one of my previous videos. I will leave a link down in the description below or an info card in the top right hand corner now for you guys to click on if you guys want to install that. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you guys did find it useful, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Check out the channel sponsors that posting using code Highway Trooper, no capitals or spaces for 20% off your next server with them. That's from Minecraft servers all the way down to your basic 5M servers and VPSs, which I'm sure most of you guys are looking for around this time if you guys are starting your own 5M server. So be sure to check them out for some reliable and cheap 5M servers. I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.